Hi Hello Loose fans, in this video I'm going to be going over 5 things I would love to see with the introduction of the British forces to the game. First, here's what we know from the 2021-22 roadmap released by the developers and from previous announcements which I've already covered on this channel before. Obviously, we'll be getting the standard British World War II infantry weapons like the main battle rifle, the Lee Enfield, possibly in a few variants, and the standard sidearm will probably be something like the Webley Mark IV revolver or the Enfield No. 2 revolver. While the submachine gun will be probably the Sten gun and possibly an earlier variant of the Thompson, like the M1928 Tommy gun. Winston Churchill was famously photographed one of those in 1940 as he was inspecting troops. The automatic rifleman role will most likely be armed with the Brent light machine gun, but I'm not too sure if the machine gun role will be armed with something similar or perhaps something along uh, the World War One era weapon lines like a Lewis gun. While the anti-tank role for the British will probably use either the boys anti-tank rifle or the projector infantry anti-tank aka Piat anti-tank weapon while the melee weapon will probably be something like the Fairbrain Sykes fighting knife. We also know from the roadmap that the Sherman Firefly, which is a Sherman fitted with a powerful British 17 pounder anti-tank gun and the British made Valentine are going to be among the roster of British tanks available in the game. I expect we'll see things like the Cromwell, Churchill and Crusader tanks also making appearances in the future. Now, in no particular order, here are the five things I'd love to see come with the game when the British are added. Number one, a Monte Cassino map. The Battle of Monte Cassino was a costly and brutal series of four assaults in 1944 by the Allies against the Winter Line in Italy, held by the Axis forces. Allied forces, including British, Canadian, New Zealand, French, and Indian and Polish troops, were among those involved in that epic battle. First, capturing the heavily defended town of Cassino before pushing uphill to capture the ruins of the monastery which sat atop the rocky hill overlooking the town. I think this would make a very cool map for the offensive game mode, where the British and their allies have to attack heavily entrenched German defenders. Number two, I would love to see a North African map or two. One of the advantages of having a desert map is that it would probably cause less performance issues to people's PCs than an urban map or one with a lot of clutter like perhaps my earlier suggestion for Monte Cassino. Similar to Foy, which is dominated by snow, a desert map with loads of sand and limited vegetation would probably run a lot better on people's computers and one with loads of foliage and various different builders and structures. There are a number of cool battles to base one of those maps on, like the Siege of Tobruk or the Battle of El Alamein. Third, I'd love to see the Brits get access to a uniform to show off their knobbly knees. This would obviously be better suited to a North African map and be a cool addition to the cosmetics in the game, in my opinion. Four, I think the Brits should get access to a unique commander ability. The Soviets have the Katusha rocket strike instead of a bombing run, and the developers have hinted before that each faction should have significant differences between them. The new commander ability is also listed as part of the roadmap, so I'm sure we'll get be getting individual unique abilities for all the forces in the future. One of the ways to make the Germans stand out would be to replace the bombing run with, say, a Stuka dive bombing run. Now, how should this be implemented in a balanced way? I'm not too sure, but I'll leave that to developers, especially since they're also going to be releasing deployable AA cannons at some point in the future, according to the roadmap. But as to what the unique British commander ability should be, I'm not too sure. If you have any ideas, drop them down in the comments for me. Last but not least, I think the cosmetic options for the British troops should reflect the diverse ethnic and national identities of the soldiers who fought for Britain or under British command in World War II. For example, Indian troops fought alongside white Brits in North Africa and Italy. It would be nice to give those brave men a nod by allowing players to play with those cosmetics changes on those certain maps where they were involved. I am a stickler for a bit of historical accuracy, so I wouldn't want to see soldiers from across the British Empire available on every map where the Brits are playable if they weren't actually there in real life, but plenty of Commonwealth soldiers did participate in key campaigns during the war, and they should be represented in my opinion. They were especially involved in the Pacific Theatre, but I imagine that will be coming to the game as they pay for expansion, and obviously that would introduce the Japanese, which is a whole other topic for a whole other video, and I'll save that for that time. If you enjoyed this video though, please smash the like button, comment and subscribe for more Hello Loose action, and of course, thanks for watching.